Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to hold a pair of drumsticks. Now many people, when they first try to hold drumsticks, they hold it as if it's like a hammer, which is not the correct way to hold a set of drumsticks. Right here I have two drumsticks, and some drumsticks, they have some markings on them to show you where you have to hold them. For example, this one, it's kind of faded away, but right here, you have a picture of a flag. So, go ahead and grab your drumsticks and put them in both of your hands, okay? Now, your thumb has to be at least one-third of the way of the drumstick. So, right here, there's a flag, which marks the one about one-third of the drumstick, as you can see, right here. If you don't have that, then just hold your drumstick about one-third of the way, okay, like this. Now, put your thumb on it like this, okay? Now, behind that, many people will just start grabbing it like this, which is not correct to grab it. You grab it like a hammer and start hitting it like that. But that is not the correct way to hold a drumstick. What you must do, put your thumb over here, and then behind that, just let your three other fingers go for the first time. Okay, now hold your pointer right behind the thumb, like this, okay? So you should be able to hold it like this, and you should be able to swing it so it doesn't fall. Okay, now your three other fingers, you can just slightly put them right over here. Only the tips should be touching this drumstick. They shouldn't be playing the drumstick at all. They should just be on the side supporting it. Your main fingers that are playing this drumstick are your thumb and your pointer. You can even try to play them without these three fingers. Okay? Now, just put these fingers on the side, just for a little bit of support. And there you go. This is how you hold a drumstick. But now, when you're playing the drumstick, what many people do is they'll just play like this. So they're holding it the correct way, but um, they aren't playing it correctly. Now, in this case, what you need to do is you need you need to keep your hand loose. So you should be you need to keep it like this, so like your drumstick it can just go up and down instead of you holding it like this. Just do it so that it's it's wobbling a little bit. Okay. Now try playing the drumstick without your last three fingers like this. Just play so it goes up and down. like that as you can see my hand it's just going up and down I'm not like banging it or anything it's just wobbling in the air like this now if you add your other three hands like this you can see if you can see underneath it's just wobbling like this I'm not grabbing it like tightly like this it's just wobbling in the air a little bit like this okay now when you're playing always make sure that um, your these three fingers, they don't go around fully, they should just be on the edge. Many people, they'll eventually get tired, and they'll make it like that, but don't do that. Just keep your drumstick like this. Now, same thing for the left hand, okay? Your left hand has to be the same way. The thumb over here, your pointer finger right behind that, and these three fingers can be on the outside if you want, okay? You don't need them. Later, just put your fingers on for support, and there you go. That's how you hold a drumstick. Now, some tips and tricks to help you get this is what I used to do is I just I used to play the drumstick for about a minute without keeping my other fingers on. So you should be able to play a drumstick just like this. Just like that, without your other three fingers. Your thumb and your pointer are moving the drumstick up and down, just like that. Okay? And you're ho holding it about a third of the way, right here. Now, another thing is, many people, they might get tired of holding a drumstick like this. What they might do, many people will just put the drumstick in between their index finger and their middle finger like this, so they can play a drumstick like this. Now, in this case, it's the same way as holding it like this. Instead of using your thumb, you're using your pointer instead of the flag right here and this finger over here is just right behind that and it's still wobbling you're still holding it tightly like this because this way your drumstick will not play on the drums properly or your drumstick needs to have a rebound whenever you're playing on the drums so if you're playing and you have to keep lifting your hand up and down like this then you're playing wrong you just have to have the rebound so it bounces up and down by itself this way your hands won't get tired that fast and um, it won't hurt.
as much. So just keep playing it like this. I'll show you right here. My hand, it's, it's just rebounding on this. I'm not moving my hand up and down. It's just in the air like this. Okay. Now one way that you can notice you're playing correctly is in the beginning many drummers will get um, a red spot right over here. Um, if you see a spot, that means you're playing the drums correctly. If you start holding it, if you don't see a spot after a while, um, then you might be doing it wrong. So just make sure that it's always rebounding, it's always loose in your hand, but not too loose that it's going to fall into the ground, okay? Um, but that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.